What's up you guys, it's Adana. So welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk to you guys today and give you like a little bit of a mix of kind of what I do in terms of my day-to-day -day job as an OBGYN PA and a little tidbit of information for you since we are in the Valentine's love season. Okay, so let's get into the video right now. What's up, you guys? This is Adam. Welcome back to my channel. So, as I said, I wanted this to be kind of like a mix of things. And now, obviously, I've told you guys that I've transitioned to OB primarily. I still do trauma and other subspecialties on the side, but my main, like, go to primary occupation is being an OBGYN PA. And as an OBGYN PA, I see lots of vaginal bleeding coming through the emergency department. Um, and obviously, like, one of the questions that we typically ask you guys is, what was like the first day of your last menstrual period, right? Um, and that is really important because it tells us so much because your menstrual cycle is cyclic and it should be cyclic. Like you should be able to track it. That's why you have these trackers on our phones. Should be able to tell exactly when it's gonna come back around because it goes in a cycle. Now, not everybody's menstrual period is cyclic and that's where you may have this abnormal or dysfunctional um, vaginal bleeding and obviously vaginal bleeding can be caused by other things as well and I'll talk about all of these things in other videos to come um, short specifically but I wanted to address just kind of like the crux of everything okay because I know it is <laughs> it is Valentine's Day coming up you know you got like two days left, you're planning, you're getting like your wine and champagne and your your strawberries dipped in chocolate and you go into Victoria's Secret to get your outfit and you know, these the, the guys are getting their smell good. But this is something that you gotta be like very aware of, okay? Now for my ladies, if you were on your period throughout the last like week, week and a half of January, listen up because you are going to be ovulating around Valentine's Day, okay? And during that Valentine's Day period. So if you're planning on having a good time during Valentine's Day, just remember that you may be coming to see me in nine months if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay? So be mindful of when your menstrual period was, be mindful of when your ovulation days are, um, because if you don't want to have babies, you know, in the next nine months, then you definitely need to keep that in mind. Okay, this is my gift to you guys. Happy Valentine's Day, <laughs> all right? So I uh, just wanted to talk to you guys quickly about that. Obviously, I'm gonna be giving you some more information on just kind of like, tracking vaginal bleeding and what you should be looking for if you do have like abnormal vaginal bleeding and you're going to go to the hospital to get some more information on why you're bleeding like this or like when you should be concerned i'm going to be doing those videos in the future so stay tuned if you like this video and want to see more videos like this or any other pa related videos go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel um, follow me on instagram at donna pa and on instagram and get that to university where we help you not only get into but through pa school thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time happy valentine's day bye